the Springfield 1866 Compact Deadeye, a weapon that overcompensates for the shortness of its barrel through the length of its name. Really, the name is too long, so we are going to call it the uh, Springum Dead. Sure. The Springum Dead is quite the conundrum. It's a sniper, but it's not. It's a space saver, but it's not. It's a competitive pick, but it's not. The Springum Dead is obviously the dead eye and compact version of the Springfield rifle. So, it's a two slot medium ammo gun, which means you can combine it with another medium weapon, dual pistols, or a three slot weapon with Quartermaster. It costs $46, which is very affordable. The Springham Dead earns its pocket sniper nickname from its impressive 440 meter per second muzzle velocity and its 212 meter effective range. However, don't get confused here. That only means it can be a one-shot headshot kill within that range. For body shots, it does 132 damage within 20 meters and dramatically less after that, so you'll likely need a follow-up for body shots. However, with a two second reload, those follow ups are hard because that's two seconds your enemy has to find cover unless you switch guns, which we'll talk about. The Springham Dead has two custom ammo options, explosive for 90 and dum dum for 50. So you can have a scoped pocket grenade launcher for $136 or mother nature's bidding for 96. The custom ammo options give the Springham Dead more utility. The explosive ammo can be a corner tester or just a general annoyance. You can terrorize enemy teams through windows with some splash damage and push them out of position. It's also really satisfying to use for PvE and bosses. The Dum Dum ammo causes bleeding damage, which is useful because forcing people to heal gives you plenty of time to reload, which you'll need. Neither of these ammo types are a guaranteed kill, but they can put enemy hunters on a back foot. So the Springham Dead is a pocket sniper with great utility and range. So what's the problem? Well, the gun has two large paradoxes that take some serious thought to overcome. So, paradox one, it's a sniper that is hard to snipe with. First, the characteristics of the Springham Dead seem almost counterproductive to sniping. Can you snipe with it? Yes. Is it practical? Well, kinda. You can buy the perk Steady Hand to improve the sway while aiming down scope. But without that perk, the sway makes it very difficult to line up headshots at range. And as we discussed, because it's medium ammo, it is crucial to hit those headshots when the reload is so long. The effective range makes it well suited for long distance ambushes, and the fast muzzle velocity means you probably won't have to lead your targets too much. But headshot kills within one compound could be achieved just as well with different medium deadeye weapons, like the Nagant Precision Deadeye or the Winfield Deadeye. Is it better for sniping at range than these other two weapons? Yes, but it also has a two second reload, which is a long time in a gunfight. So the range where you would notice the value of medium ammo over small ammo is undercut by the rough handling and cumbersome reload. Which takes us to Paradox 2. What gun do you take with this? So pop quiz. You're taking a pocket sniper and you want a secondary weapon that complements it well. What do you bring? If you're like me, when I first started using this, you probably thought a shotgun. That way you can fight at long range and close quarters. But in my experience, that just isn't how this works. I'm not saying you can't get a kill this way, but I often found myself either too close to use a scope or too far for the shotgun to contribute. If you take the Romero, for example, you would probably get in gunfights within the same compound that are both too far for the Romero and too close for the Springham Dead. And once you've shot your shots, both weapons require a reload which leaves you vulnerable. The best combination I've found for our cute little sniper is some cute little dual pistols. Any dual pistols, and yes, I mean any. That way you can take those sniper shots at medium range and fully embrace the spam to finish people off. Now this doesn't get rid of the paradox. Whatever gun you take with a spring of dead will put you in a weird situation where you feel like you're leaning completely on one gun or the other. Your loadouts will feel asymmetrical in this way but that's totally okay, just embrace it. And as a small bonus, the Springham Dead is a decent hip fire weapon, so you can take those shots in clinching moments and you still might live. So, some final thoughts. 
I don't think Crytek should fix any of my grievances with this gun. It's quirky and cumbersome and unwieldy. One, it makes sniping more challenging than it has to be. Two, finding its true effective range takes a lot of practice. And three, using it will give you mixed results. And yet, in honor of Sir Mixalot, there's a big old butt here. I actually like this gun. There, I said it. Sure, I died a lot, but once I figured out its many weaknesses and poor pairings, I earned my spot back to being a five-star boy. So, if you see it in the bayou or you get a free hunter with it equipped, try it out for yourself. It's a gun that takes some nuance. It has to be finessed and thought about. But when you get a kill with it, it feels like a signature. Like a fine wine you would use to seduce the hearts of your enemies. It's the sniper that separates the men from the boys. And now, thanks to the <clears throat> Springfield 1866 Compact Deadeye, my girlfriend looks at me as a man again.